You may need to make changes to the footprint. These changes can be included of description or tag of your component and also updating the footprints because of the changes in catalog values. To do that in the panel tab of the ribbon and in the edit footprints panel, you can select edit tool. After that, you have to select the component that you want to be edited. In the display dialog box, you can see many areas. In the item number edit box, you can assign an item number. Item number is a sign which assigned to a particular panel. To explain more about it, I close this dialog box. In the screen, you can see a table which has a column with item numbers. For example, the item with number 5 has some specifications. In the second column, you can see the number of this item and in the other columns, you can see the description and the catalog data of this particular item. Now I'm going to show you the components with this item number. Here you can see a balloon which contains five and it shows a push button. If you just right click on the push button and select edit footprint, you will see the panel layout dialog box and in the item number, the number five is available. As you notice, the number 5 was assigned to this particular push button with special descriptions and data. Instead of writing its name, you can see the item number is used in this table. Now I'm going to bring back the panel layout dialog box to explain the other areas in Edit Tool. As you have seen, there is other way to edit the footprints instead of going to Edit Footprints panel and choosing Edit. You can just right click on your component and then select Edit Footprints to open the Edit dialog box. The description area includes three lines and you can type your desired description to show in your panel. Now I write here. Then by pressing OK, you can see your chosen push button. But to see the descriptions, you have to insert a nameplate panel. Nameplate is a special type of panel footprint and can act as a child of a parent footprint component. Also, it can be inserted as an independent component. As you know, there is a relationship between child and parent component. It means that nameplate as a child is related to a parent footprint. In the other hand, child footprint will get the specifications such as location description and other information from the parent component. So I'm going to choose icon menu and then in the panel symbols, we have several nameplates. I'm going to choose this one and by choosing OK, you have to select the component that you want to add the nameplate to it. Choosing and press enter. Then for the second time, you have panel layout dialog box and also the descriptions you have entered before. Moreover, you can change the catalog data by choosing catalog lookup and search for your desired catalog and assign it to your component. By choosing OK, finally, you can see the descriptions written here. Note that you can insert nameplates as a standalone component in your drawing. Also, it is possible to move it by using move command. To do that, you have to select home tab from the ribbon and in the modify panel, it is needed to choose move command.
As you see, in the command line, you have to select the objects that you want to be moved. Then by pressing enter and also spe specifying the base point, you can move and place your nameplate wherever you want.